Hey, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Let's go see Steve. Johnny! <laughs> Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Johnny, I wanted to recommend an Alfred Hitchcock and a Marlene Dietrich movie. And since they only did one, here it is. 1950s Stage Fright, starring Marlene Dietrich, Jane Wyman, Michael Wilding, and Richard Todd. Now, Hitchcock had not been back to his native country since 1940 when he came over here to do Rebecca. So he was delighted to return to London. And Warner Brothers said to him, well, if you're going to shoot this movie for us, you've got to use our leading actress. And at the time, it was Jane Wyman. She just picked up the Oscar for Johnny Belinda. So Hitchcock said, well, all right, I'll do that, but I'll cast everybody else out of the London theater scene and, and movie scene, except this actress part, and I need somebody really glamorous and he chose Dietrich. Now, Marlena had done incredible work for the war effort during World War II. She entertained our troops all over the world. She was behind enemy lines several times and her life was in danger. And when she came back, she did a fabulous movie for Billy Wilder called A Foreign Affair, where she, which they shot on location in the bombed out shell that was Berlin at the time. She had just become a grandmother and she needed something glamorous. So Hitchcock said, bring Marlena in. Well, Dietrich knew so much about lighting <laughs> that she lit and set the cameras herself. All the trouble to protect my reputation. Later on, they said to Hitchcock, well, what was that like working with Dietrich? And he said, well, she was the best director I ever worked with. Thank you, darling. Oh, well, not that light. Put that light over there. I like this light better here. I need to have more light underneath. No, more light underneath. Yes. It takes some of them that way. She really knew what she was doing, you know, from working with von Sternberg all those years. Basically, the story is this. Richard Todd is Jane Wyman's boyfriend. And he's been having an affair with the famous actress, Marlene Dietrich. And she has supposedly murdered her husband. Things look bad for me, don't they? He is covering up for her. You fool! There goes evidence that could have helped you! Well, you're not to say things against Charlotte. I'm doing all this for her sake. Jane Wyman, who wants to be an actress in this movie, pretends that she's a maid and gets herself hired by Dietrich so she can infiltrate and get Marlene to confess to this murder. Sounds to me remarkably like blackmail. I think I'd better call the police. Yes, do call the police, Miss Emma. She gets enlists her father, who's played by that wonderful English character actor, Alistair Sim, who played Scrooge later on. And Dame Sybil Thorndike plays her mother. So Hitchcock peopled it with the very best character people. It's simply because I'm the laziest girl in town. You're not quite sure if what the story that Richard Todd has told Jane Wyman about how this husband died is actually true or not. And that's where the suspense of the story lies. And it's all centered around the theater and Jane Wyman, who was very jealous of Dietrich and the way that she looked in this movie, kept making herself prettier and prettier so she gets successfully prettier <laughs> as the movie goes on. If we could only work in a little color somewhere. Well, that nearly good. Take off your hat, dear. There's simply millions of things to do, I'm afraid. The detective who's investigating this scene and falls in love with her is Michael is Michael Wilding, who was sort of the great gentleman leading man in, in British films in the 40s. He'd done several movies with Anna Nagel, like Spring and Park Lane, and he later married Elizabeth Taylor and fathered a couple of her kids. And they, they made a nice couple. Uh, but Wyman was not exactly comfortable, and Hitchcock was not comfortable with Jane Wyman. She wasn't one of his favorite actresses, but he got through it nevertheless. Hmm. He really got through it because of Dietrich. At one point, Dietrich uh, is being questioned by the police, and she looks up at this man, this police officer standing next to him, and she's got this key light, and she's smoking, and the smoke is building up, and she says, Do you like dogs, Mellish? Yes, ma'am, I do. But not all dogs. They don't love you. You don't love them. That's right, isn't it? I suppose so. I had a dog once. He hated me. At last he bit me and I had him shot. This movie is kind of known as second string Hitchcock. It's not quite up to Vertigo and Rare Window and Psycho. But I always feel that Second String Hitchcock is like the best efforts of lots of other directors. So it's with great pride that I recommend Marlene Dietrich, Jane Wyman, Michael Wilding, and Richard Todd, and Alfred Hitchcock's.
Stage fright. <laughs> Watch it, okay? Lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. In this, in this, running this stance, stand up. The popcorn can't be beat. <laughs> <laughs>